here, let's talk about it. For the two young women that young ladies that have been rocking with me, acknowledgments, acknowledgments. Thank, thank y'all for your time, spending your time listening to my video. You know, I appreciate it. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all listen. Y'all, y'all always comment. You know, when y'all get a chance to love y'all. Hope everything going good. Oh, family wise, kid wise, or whatever. Hope everything going good, sisters. Love y'all support. You know what I do. Y'all been rocking with me for a long time. So, I done a video on anti-social. Uh, this is not a follow-up. I done another video. Y'all gonna see that video. That's on my other phone. Because I got channels everywhere on YouTube. Uh... But I'm going to bring it to this one because I don't feel like, you know, switching videos and putting it on my other down. Uh, you know, I just do it on this one. Um, no downtime. No downtime. You know, if you got any religious backbone, I don't really care. I do care, but that's to each his own. You know, because I don't want to get into no religious uh, 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 conflict. My thing is, it's a high power. We just ain't here by happenstance, human beings. Someone, some higher being, higher than us, created this existence. You know, who created the axis? Human beings didn't create the axis that, that rotate the earth, that balance the earth. That's why it's different time. It's night, and it's night here, and it's daylight somewhere else in another country. That's because the world is spinning on an axis. Uh, if man created that, he he can he can change he can he can he can configurate the world. These 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 scientists, these so-called uh, uh, geniuses, that's crazy out their fucking mind. You know, they didn't screw they didn't experiment they didn't experiment and screwed up the earth. Now they wanna go out of space and, and try to screw that up. It's not happening. It's not happening, Captain. It's not happening. It's not happening. There's no downtime for them. Meaning y'all gotta do y'all due diligence. This is a war, a mental war. That's the most powerful war, a mental war. Social media that's in everyday life. You got to stand on your conviction what you stand for. Or you're going to roll with the bar from that. Or you're going to roll with Lucifer. You understand me? Who you going to roll with? That's the question I pose to you all. Who you going to roll with? Lucifer or the bar from that? You can't play the two. Okay? Let's get down to it. Now, like I said, I want y'all to enjoy yourself. Because I see a lot of people are confiding in this social media madness. Okay, this is not a precursor to the video I just done previously today. This is another subject topic I want to talk about. Fear mongering. Fear mongering. It's the last days. God this, God this. These are false prophets. Beware of them. They don't know the day. They don't know the hour. They don't know the second. They don't know the minute on the clock. What does what what does the book say before it closed? I'm gonna come like a thief in the night. No one ain't gonna know. It can happen right now as I'm doing this video. It can happen. Just it can happen. But you you never gonna know. And why is you worrying about that? Why is people? These young, especially young, young. Oh, this, this is why these young kids. Oh, oh, oh! I, I'm gonna do every day on this side. Uh, I mean, you ain't gonna live that long anyway. The good die young, and all this bullshit that we these slogans. The good die young. 
That's why they get no. So what that what that pose me? You gonna do everything demonic? That's gonna cause you to die quicker? Cause that's what you doing. The cause the cause death to come quick. Cause what you do in life it comes back. If you live a positive life, if you if you obey the law, statutes, commandments, if you honor your mother and father, your days will be longer. And let me tell you something. That's true. Do you know why? Do you ever wonder why some of these young people are in the grave? Because they never honored their mothers or fathers. Or whoever was their, their supervisors. They was disrespectful to their elders. The ones who raised them the best way they could. And they shitted on them and thought they knew everything. Let me tell you something. When someone confide in you and raise you and put a roof over your head and you shit on them, I'll try to let that sink in. What? I know. I know. See now, some deeper shit. Now I can understand this. They day will come, especially if you're raised by parents like that, well raised. Because I know in a black community, especially in the black community, see, see, see a lot of things. That's why I say, a lot. See these 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 people that come on here. If you gonna talk about something, be real about it. Now I'm gonna put the cards on the table. I done videos like this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this kind of brief and get straight to the point. Especially in the black community, it's still a taboo. But it's a lot of incest. I done done videos about this. You people gotta understand, it's still a lot of incest within the biological family, and that fucks those 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 kids up. And then when they grow two young adults, they are traumatized. This is why we got a lot of them doing demon time. They was messed with. They was fucked with. And this is the inner core that people need to get to. Stop playing on YouTube. If you want to be about it, talk about it. You know, I had grew up with my friends. And they come out in a drunken state or whatever. Hey, man, you know, man. I was like, man, that's fucked up. Their uncles. They, or or they've been molested by women. Or, or, or their innocence has been taken. They didn't, they didn't put the ABCs and the one, two, threes together. They didn't go through natural selection of things. They was tampered with. This is why they act out. You got, you know, you got, you got big YouTubers that, you know, you know, that, that, that spilled beans to speak. And I can commend them for, for bringing it out. Well, hell, uh, one of my one of my uh, 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 role models, you know, I look up, you know, I, I look up too. I grew up uh, playing this video game on the first Nintendo. Uh, I, I watched all his boxing matches and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm proud of that brother. Throughout, throughout of it all, Mike Tyson, man, Mike Tyson. He's not the only one. A lot of young black youth that grow up, that was young and been through that shit. You know? And this shit need to be addressed. They put the cars on the table, then it be less problems. Yeah, it's going to be some crime. Yes, it's going to be some uh, 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 healing. But it needs to be brought out. So that's another thing that was going on in the black community. That's, that, that's been going on in black community for a long time. You don't fuck with your own and your biological tree. You go out, especially men. This is, we are hunters. You go out and, and get what you want. The lady will let you know. She, whether she attracted to you or not. 
that's up to you. But you got to make the first, you know, you are the alpha male. You are the sigma male. You got to make that. I'm sitting back. And women choosing men. Where that? Where they do that at? Where they do that? A woman don't pose to choose a man. The man pose to choose a woman. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. And let me tell you something, brothers. You may be a pathway with that shit. But if a woman choose you and she aggressive like that, she booking you. You're not booking her. What the fuck is what the fuck is that? So my thing is to you, bro, you infatuated with that shit. Let me tell you something. Quick as she pick you, how many of my brothers she picked before you was with her? You just another piece of meat. Actually she playing you like a like a mark. Like a like a bitch. As a man, you supposed to go out here and you got the pick of the flock. That's our nature, man. That's how we was built. Now it's in reverse. And this is why a lot of shit is F up between men and women in these days of time. You got women choosing men. Men sitting back there submissive. The man is becoming a submissive one. What the fuck? Where they do that at? The man is becoming... Not even a head no more. He's the fucking tail. He ain't, he ain't the head. He the backbone. It's in reverse. And you're not a man. If you're the backbone, you're not a man. You're not leading. She leading you. And a man pose lead. And a woman pose a follow. The woman is the helpmate. Play your position, man. Hey, man. Hey, my deck of cards. My, my when I when I when I spread these deck of cards, ain't no flaws in that shit. Let's get to some serious stuff. I'm a, I'm gonna close this yeah out with some serious commentary for acquiring minds want to know how I roll. I'm going to end this yeah out with some credible commentary because it's like a bullshit. From these content content creators on YouTube, and they speaking half, and they ain't speaking whole, and they fake ass goddamn um, uh, uh, dating coaches and all that bullshit. Have these dating coaches? They've been exposed. Have them? Um, ain't nothing but holes anyway. Again, like I told you in the other video, this 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 a different this a, this a different script though. You don't know those people. They don't know you. They don't know what you want. I mean, some dudes like scallywags. Some women like dogs. Meaning that they like women, uh, women uh, men like women of the night. I mean, that's what they like. They like women of the night. They like loose women. Some men like loose women. They pay for loose women. There ain't no damn cigarette. That's why prostitution is a trillionaire business now. And pimpism. Some men, I mean, some women like thugs. They, you know, they they, they think it's some cheese mode with that. They think they think it's macho, and they attracted to the men of the night too. They want to be called bees and hoes. They want to be disrespect to them. That's 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 the man band masculine over them. They don't know that's totally disrespectful. That's the men and the queen, but they don't know. To them, they think that's a fucking man. Because he, you know, he, he, you know, he, uh, give her money, you know, make sure she all right, and stuff like that. But, and, and, you know, the other hand, he, you know, he, you know, just doing what he want to do with her. And every time he want to, want something, he come around, but he ain't interested, he don't come around. Or, he, you know, he pass you around to his boys. That's how you want to live, but some women live like that. See, y'all got to know the dynamics of it. But let's get back. Let's get back to what I was talking about. See, those people, they're gone. Now, y'all better live y'all life, man.
because there's a lot of distractions. That's what I'm trying to get y'all. See, because I know this coincides to what all I'm talking about. All these, the, 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 the video, the video you just watched, is tied up to that too. This fear mongering. Let's get back to that. The fear mongering. Oh, it's the last days. Uh, we don't got that long. Uh, it's gonna be, and I've been hearing it. It's gonna be a major blackout. They're gonna hit the grid. What you gonna do then? Um, it's gonna be. A, it, it's already gonna be. It's, it, it's gonna be a purge and this and that. It's gonna be a purge. It's already a purge, idiots. It's already prophecies being fulfilled. So what are y'all talking about? See, that's what I'm saying. Look, the COVID. Is COVID gone yet? When it first came on the scene, when everybody was quarantined in the house, so they identified we had a pandemic. Okay, the scientific community. I want y'all to pay attention to this shit. They identified we had a pandemic. They came out with the little fake ass uh, uh, antidotes and serums and, and fake ass cures. Uh, I want y'all to pay attention to the beginning when they announced it. When we was quarantined. I want y'all to pay attention to that motherfucking quarantine. So and, and then they threw them stimulus checks to, you know, the, you know, the you know the the, the get get out get our mind off of the pandemic. You know, <laughs> what was they doing when everybody was in the house? What did they What did they reconfigure? What did they institute? Let me tell you, some people. That's the big question. What the fuck? The scientific community, the CIA, the FBI, the intelligence community. While everybody was quarantined, what the fuck? Buck was they doing? See, I know we don't know, but I know they was doing something. Common sense, everybody, non avoid everyone. Who, who's, who? What was they doing? Tell you something, people. Let me tell you something. They've been knocking out holistic doctors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, rest in peace, Dr. Sabi. Shabi or Sabi, Dr. Sabi. He ain't the first. He was never the first. And he won't be the he won't be the last. A lot of people before him was getting knocked off. The herbs is in the field. The, you know the, the you know the the blueprint is in the good books, the scriptures. You know y'all supposed to be fasting, and detoxing. Y'all know y'all supposed to be eating all this goddamn processed food. Y'all know this shit. But we still run to these fast food communities and all and, and, and eat that bullshit. Then we run to the we run to the CDC and all them. And get shots and, and get these uh, uh, goddamn medications that give you seven, eight side effects. They really doing more harm to you than good. Wake up! Y'all laugh at the voodoo doctors, the witch doctors, which is herbalists and spiritual and spiritual men and women. Y'all laugh, poke fun out of them. But half of them they living in the what? What they call them? Blue zones. They living in they living in places like the Garden of Eden. That's only a faithful few now, cause you got these assholes trying to go and, 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 and um, go over there and corrupt those places and screw up the land and the aqua and all that and tamper with them, cause they hating. Do you know you got some Caribbean folks and African folks that live in the bush and living good, white teeth, skin pure. Eating good off the land, drinking, drinking the most pure. You do you know they ain't going to the metropolitan areas 
If they do, they get sick because their body is used to a, 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 a clean atmosphere to speak. They don't even want to go in those places to breathe the, 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 the chemicals that come out the cars and shit. You got people still living like that. That should tell you something. It's due to greed. It's due to population control. We've been experimenting on the one percent been experimenting on us. We the sheepo. Now you got the fair mongering. The add and soft injury. The fair mongering. No one knows when the most high gonna crack the sky. No one knows when the sky gonna roll back like a scroll, and the mountains roll back like a like a, 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 a what they call it, Pacarus or, or, or a scroll. It's gonna roll back. The mountains gonna roll back. The stars gonna roll back. Every day gonna men gonna try to hide. That's in Revelation. They gonna try to talk to the rocks. The rocks gonna talk to them. Uh huh. And you see how they, uh, it's a form of blasphemy, 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 uh, 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 Hollywood. It's a form of, uh, blasphemy or, uh, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. They mocking God. Final, uh, not Final Fantasy, uh, uh Lords of the Rings. <laughs> Lords of the Rain. Lords of the Rain. They, you know, they think they slick as shit. Lords of the Ring, they're not slick. They was adding, they was adding on Revelations, and it's adding on uh, uh, the Illuminati and all that. If you look at all the trilogies of Lords of the Ring, they got a lot of symbolism in it, and a lot of symbolism in it. Got them trees, like the, tr the trees. There's one part the trees is coming up. And the trees was talking to people and all that. Uh-huh. Where they getting that from? Where they getting that from? But if you don't study the religious texts and the scriptures and the, and, and the parables thereof, you won't know or identify with the trickery that Hollywood play on a religious community. You won't know. You think it's just, no, no. For every movie was what? Four hours? I think like two, yeah, two or four hours. Every, every, every trilogy, or throughout the trilogy, like, I think it was like two or three, two hours or even four hours. Every movie was like four hours or two hours straight of indoctrination and games. Adding and subtracting, playing with religious scripture and putting it in the liking of a movie. Had a lot of similarities to end times and, and uh, satanic stuff, well as uh, sorcery, all that enchantment, all that witches and old, oh, that's witchcraft. Right in your face. Even Harry Potter. There ain't nothing about witchcraft. Wake up! That's what they do. Oh, it's, oh man, oh man, it's just a adventure movie. Oh, it's just it's just a fan fantasy. My ass, it's satanic, and it plays on the on, on the hidden sectors of your mind frame. It's like this fear mongering. Got young people giving up. There's the last day as well. Hell, you know. I guess I there's my best life. Father, you know, you're supposed to be doing that anyway. So it takes it, it it takes people to get on here and talk about the end of the world for you to to live your best life. You shouldn't be doing that anyway. Think about it. I want you to understand and comprehend what the fuck I'm talking about. I ain't worrying about the end. 
It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And what the hell are you going to do about it? Nothing. So I'm telling you young people, stop the fair mongering shit. Y'all need to be living your best life. Regardless. You think the most high wants you to worry about when he come? He wants you to live accordingly to the scriptures, the law, statutes, and commandments, and do your due diligence to represent the kingdom and live a, and live a prosperous and spiritual life. He don't want to worry. He don't want you to worry about when the end come. He wants you to keep up with the uh, with the signs. He wants you to fight for the kingdom and all that. So you can get in. See? Y'all better wake up. Because when it's over, it's over. And like I said, we can't do nothing about it. So you're going to waste your life. Worrying about the end. And a lot of men and women are dead. And the end never came. And they worry themselves to death and dead by fear mongering. You got people I you got people actually dying. Stressing them out. Because they think it's gonna end. So they give up on life. You got people like that. Just like that. That's how I go. Just like that fail. That happened for real. It's like that skull turn around and fail. That's how I go. That's how they do. Fall right back on the wall. So that happened for a reason. Let it stay right there too. And that's how they go. They turn their head around and bloop. So the prop, the prop worked out for me anyway. Nice prop. And it worked out for me for this video. Worrying about people here. Watching the skies and all that. Uh, man, you better live your life. People been talking about end times. How long? Is it happening yet? That's the great mystery. You don't know. You don't know. So while you got ample time, while you, every morning you wake up, you're blessed. Thank God. And I'm telling you, I better thank God for that. Because you don't, you don't have to wake up in the morning. You don't have to wake up to see the next horizon. You don't have to wait. You can be gone. And a lot of people checking out due to circumstances. And due to the way they live. So when you wake up. And when you see that sun. Or when you see that morning. It's time for you to thank God. He let you live to see another day. And try to make every day a success instead of worrying about fear mongering and, and, and that will stress you out and keep you stagnated you supposed to be you supposed to be you supposed to be knocking out the numbers for God you supposed to be you supposed to be doing for the kingdom you supposed to be telling people what you telling people if you if you had that spirit of discernment of evangelizing telling people hey man it, it's not it's not it, 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 hey it ain't that bad. It's not. But people make it bad for themselves by listening to idiots. See, how many people that's doing that fair mongering, the majority of them, they already gave up on life. So, they come out with some kind of facade or come out with videos of, oh, 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 this, that, conspiracy theorists, oh, oh, I know, I know it. About this and this, about the calculation of this, this is what will happen this year, and, and another thing. How many times have you have seen videos the world going to end in 2000 is? The world, like 2000. And all this bullshit. The world's going to end in 1999. It's about to go on 2023. False prophets. Fair mongering. Another distraction. For people that don't stick to the scriptures. You don't stick to the scriptures, you confide, you confide, you confide in people. The false prophets, 
No, no man knows old woman on earth. No, no human being knows when the Most High is going to end this planet. Okay, I'm going to listen to these assholes up on here. YouTube, not only YouTube, other platform that's predicting this and predicting. Shut the F up. Because you don't know. No one knows. Live your life. Live for God. Enjoy your life. And get your blessings and strive for perfection. Stop listening to those damn fools. Especially you young people, this young generation, y'all got a long, y'all got, y'all, y'all got, y'all, man, y'all so blessed, y'all don't even know it. Y'all got stuff now that my generation, I was, I'm a '75 uh, uh, a baby. Y'all got more stuff now to y'all fingertips, but y'all using it the wrong way, and y'all getting y'all ass fucked up. Stop doing that. And stop worrying about these people that's your age and my age that's up on here talking about this bullshit in the end of the world. Because they don't know. I don't know. And you don't know. So why you going to confide in idiots? Because of the entertainment and the hoop line? Don't fall for the great deception. Y'all supposed to be living out your life. Y'all supposed to be planning for this, planning for that. Y'all supposed to be striving. Not getting all stressed out. This, that, and the third. I'm out of here. Hope I added some clarity, some understanding to this video. I hope y'all get it. It's up to y'all. I'm out of here, man.